Bombay Sapphire, Master Mixologist James Moreland. We're in a beautiful setting. We're in the Satai uh, wine cellar, um, as you can see. And we're here today to make some cocktails for you. We're going to start off today doing the ultimate martini. There's a couple of rules that you need to remember. Um, what you want to do when you're making your martini or any cocktail is to start off with a cold glass. Make sure you turn out the dice. Have it sitting there, have it frosting uh, before you start any cocktail. You need to start off with a lot of ice. Um, years ago, we used to have our martinis wet. That's because the gin was really, really bad. But when you have a really good gin, um, you use less and less vermouth. So the way I do it um, is I pour the vermouth in and I pour enough in there um, to coat the ice. So I coat the ice. And then get rid of the ice and the vermouth. Smell that. You see? There's more there's more than enough vermouth in there. You don't need any more than that. Vermouth is a fortified wine. So um, a really good vermouth is an only prep uh, that you want to use. So martini rossi is also, uh, also a very, very good vermouth. You fill your shaker up with ice again, um, you pour in your Bombay sapphire. And depending on your glass, um, you're pouring as much as you need. So, spoon, keep your hands off the shaker, stir it up. You never, ever, ever, ever shake a martini. It is criminal. Stir it up, takes 30 seconds. Get rid of the ice in the glass. See, that's nice and frosted, it's a very cool glass. Yeah, um, it's chilled. It keeps it nice and chilled, so you pour it out. And that's, that's a 10 ounce glass, which is a really big martini, so you only have two of those. If you have three, you're dead. Um, and you can either have it with olives or a twist of lemon. That's the perfect five o'clock cocktail. 